All right, and we are live with more Fallout New Vegas. Old World Blues, it's Monday. I apologize for last Monday not having a Fallout New Vegas stream. Uh, I had a couple of other things going on at the time, so I was not necessarily 100% focused on getting a Fallout New Vegas stream uh, today, or today, uh, the other day. So, we are still in the big empty. We, last time, were able to get the uh, stuff for the... Uh, we were able to basically go through X8 and get everything except for some of the remaining materials. And we were also able to get some of the sinks... Uh, personalities and that is what we are going to be doing here uh going forward to start this stream here tonight we are going to get uh the remaining personalities for the sink and then when we have all the personalities for the sink i will continue with the main quests mm -hmm. thumb, thumb. please please stay clustered together lobotomites Boom. Oh yeah, and I, I, I guess uh, I should note, as you might notice, uh, my character has uh, hair. Uh, or my character, Melvin, my courier, he had red hair, now he doesn't. So yeah, uh, that's kind of interesting uh, with this halo that I have on my head. So there's that. Um might switch out thump thump at some point um okay what do i need what do i got um but yeah i would first like to start off the stream by thanking the midwest mark spodcast i believe it's like uh yeah the midwest mark podcast I, i'm sorry my phone made that uh come out a little weird um for following the channel that appreciate that and I uh I always ah I'm stuck on this pipe I can't be falling in Vegas oh I think I shot myself ah sorry that there get over the pipe and aim better than the fire shoe I'm not gonna really why am I not hitting him I don't have an infinite supply of these grenades, you know. Uh, thank you for the slow mo. Um, and thank you for the rag dolls. That's actually kind of funny. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, where did he fly to? You know what? It doesn't matter. Doing so could allow dangerous ideas and all creatures having those ideas to escape. Okay, Dala. Um, what was I gonna say? Um... But yeah, I always try to, uh, if you follow the channel, I try to give you a follow back, especially if I, uh, see that you've got a record of streaming because I want to support fellow streamers, especially those who, uh, give me the time of day and actually, you know, decide, hey, well, I'll, I'm going to like your channel. So I appreciate that very much. Uh, I'm rambling. Um, but yeah, um... As far as Old World Blues, when it comes to the uh, DLC, uh, I am going to try to explore a lot of the locations in this because it's got like a lot of very cool locations. But I'm not going to focus on stuff that isn't like unimportant to the story, per se, because I don't want to be in this uh, environment for like weeks of stream time. That and the lobotomites can get very tedious to fight, as I'm sure you've kind of noticed. I mean, it's kind of nice to have uh, high explosives, but, well, well, eventually I will run out of grenades, my armor will break, and uh, I don't want that, so. 
but I don't use Thump Thump that often. Thank you, boomers, for, uh, and no, when I say boomers, I do not mean the antiquated baby boomers, uh, term for baby boomers. I mean boomers as in, uh, Fallout New Vegas's tribe of explosive, uh, and gun-loving, uh, tribe that's based out of Nellis Air Force Base, which... Uh, I don't remember exactly what episode that was, but it is technically in my stream, excuse me, oof, my stream VOD archive that you can watch on my YouTube channel. Cheap, excuse me, cheap plug. Sorry, I just had dinner about an hour ago, and I guess now it's decided to give me some burpsies. Ugh. And he got what he had. Mm, yeah, I got what you had. So... There's a highway, kinda. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting that the crouch button is not the B button in this game. When any other game that like has a crouch button, the B button is pretty much that. Oh, so you can't go in these buildings. It's funny, because I could have... I distinctly remembered you being able to, but... Okay. Ah, the monorail. Uh, slowly slide down so I don't injure myself. You know what? I have had enough of you. Suck Tesla cannon, bitch. Wait, what? Oh. I will give credit where credit's due. Uh, the lobotomites are very creepy. They aren't the creepiest enemy in, uh, Fallout New Vegas. In Fallout New Vegas. I, I, I think the creepiest enemy in Fallout New Vegas has to very much be, uh, the ghost people in, uh, in, uh, in the, uh, uh Sierra Madre in Dead Money. Those... That would probably be my uh, pick for scariest enemies in the game. Pain? Wait a minute. They're fighting each other. Thank you for that. I'll take it. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially when your enemies are fighting each other instead of when they could be shooting at you. Ha ha ha! Gotta love this Tesla cannon. The one in Fallout 3 was definitely way cooler, though. Just saying. Uh, Saturday Night Fist. I, I think I have one of these. I probably have way too many weapons. I've said this, like, you know, a couple of times. I probably have way too many weapons. But at the same time, uh, you never know when something's gonna, like, you're gonna break a weapon or... Uh, what have you. Obviously, the weapon's better for close quarters, etc., etc. So, I keep them... I keep my weapons uh, pretty well, you know, especially for the sake of variety. I try to keep it well-stocked and well-managed. Okay. But I hope you all are doing well on this Monday. Uh definitely doing well especially being back here in the wasteland like I said we're gonna get the sync personalities and we're gonna install them some bitches and then after that we'll continue with the main quest mentats this is a this is a great source for mentats if your character actually is like addicted to mentats you'll never run dry uh, let's see ah here we are Cause we want to go over here. This is. Oh boy! Don't nobody show this to uh, Doctor Neo Cortex from Crash Bandicoot. He'll get the uh, he'll get funny ideas with the red power crystals. He'll think that they're more powerful than the purple ones, and Crash Bandicoot will be screwed. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was terrible. Ah! Damn it. Um. Okay, so it's down here, right? That's where the marker's pointing me to. Oh, yes. Here it is. Uh, how do I get down? 
How do I get... Actually, the better question is, how do I get down without busting my legs? That's the key. I don't know if I can actually... I don't know what that is, but I'm ignoring you. Are you a Robo-Scorpion? He thinks you are a Robo-Scorpion. From the sound of it. Hey, I got down without killing myself. Go figure. Ah, yes it is. The Mega... Thalix... I, I'm sorry, I couldn't even read that. I couldn't even read that with a straight face. Oh, don't reload, you idiot! Ugh. Yeah, Melvin. Uh, my proton axe. Go. This is basic. This is basically where if you have any sort of weapon, uh, weapons. No match for science. No match for science. Um, but yeah, this is basically if you have like any sort of like science weapon or like power weapon like that deals damage to the like electronics uh you're in pretty good shape for sure <sighs> i am a little concerned that i'm gonna run out of stim packs not so much ammo but stim packs because this character my characters are generally, when I do uh, play a Fallout games, are not uh, equipped for survival. In the survival skill, like, I don't want to survive. increasing geometrically. Do you hear me, think tank? Ah, oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh. That's not very fair. Where the hell did you come from? I see. Do I have any pulse grenades? Yes, I do. Heal. Uh. Suck it. Ah, oh, why did you? Why are you moving in to attack me like smart AI? I was hoping you'd be dumb. Ah. I lobbed like two grenades on your head. How did you not die? Or undie? I'm gonna get a level up soon. That's about it. Yes, Mobius, your dialogue is very repetitive. I know. Come on. What, your pathfinding AI break? Screw it. I'm not letting you walk away. No. For no other reason than I don't think I'd be able to fast travel if I didn't clear this place out. Mega Theta Magneto Hydraulics Complex. I I knew that. God damn it. Uh, but, well, I hope all of you are doing very well today because, uh, yeah, it's always nice to stream on a Monday. Walking eye. I wonder if that's a wild wasteland thing. Doesn't seem to be. Ah, so this place is flooded. So. And yet somehow not radioactive. Like, I don't know why this is not radioactive, but like several other places that you go to are. Actually, to be fair, I think. The two places that are radioactive are the Divide, and uh, which is the last DLC that I'll be covering, and the Sierra Madre. Everything else is like pretty uh, clean and pure. Just go figure that one out. Okay, good. Drinks for healing items. Project Sink the Sink. Well, ain't that convenient. We're standing in water, and all of a sudden, I get a project for the sink. All right, another one down. Those bullets would probably be useless, but there, here I am using logic. I think this is one of the only areas where you don't really have... Uh, where it doesn't really have, like, anything that you need. Oh, 
but I do have a rebreather, so let's check it out here really quick. And my power armor is getting freaking wrecked, so I think I might need to repair it anyways soon. There's my rebreather. Okay. Well, there's some there's some stuff here. Maybe there'll be something. I forgot how clunky the swimming is in this. I might just have to go back to the uh, the think tank in order to uh, get uh, in order to get my uh, armor repaired if I can even do it with the caps that I, I that would be required. I might not have enough caps. It's very possible. I'm mostly just checking to see if there's another uh, if there the secondary sync module is here because sometimes or because that's uh, I thought that might be the case. Doesn't appear to be. What do we got in here? Nothing. Nothing important, anyways. I was just about to say, uh, camera. Thank you. Oh, microfusion. Microfusion. Eh, ammunition. Can't complain. Eh. Stupid clunky swimming. Oh, more microfusions. Oh, but these are drained. Why are they drained? How are they drained? I don't know. Oh, proton throwing axe. Who put that there? No, oh, I, I am actually serious, though. Who put those there? How did that end up there? Eh, all right. I think that's that. Got what we came for. Creepy. Walking eyes. I don't think you actually encounter them as enemies, though. Not watching the bucks. <laughs> no, Colin, I'm not watching the bucks play tonight. Um, I just do not care. Oh, frag. <sighs> well, BRB. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to restart the game here. <laughs> basketball. I'm sorry. Now I'm back. I'm just not the biggest basketball fan in general, if I'm being honest. <sighs> Once again, Fallout New Vegas makes me look like a fool by crashing. I hate when that happens. Like, I love all of it. Like, almost... Sorry, I bumped the mic. Almost all the games... Obsidian's made how many times they crash like I think the Outer Worlds probably crashed the least of their releases but even that crashed like at least three or four times when I played it I still have to finish the expansions for that too at some point uh, well, let's see no oh, goody it did save so I didn't lose really any progress Yeah, no, if anything, I'd actually be more interested in watching the NHL playoffs right now, the Stanley Cup playoffs right now, as opposed to the Bucks. But uh, uh, I'm not going to pay 7 bucks a month for uh, ESPN Plus because I would probably just forget to cancel it afterwards. So you played, you played a lot of three... Uh, three and four, but not New Vegas. The Ice um, Valley Research Center has been canceled until further notice. As in, until, until someone, someone notices, notices it. it. Ha, I get it. 
Uncanny Valley. Um, that's actually, that is kind of interesting that you mentioned that. Um, it is, if for no other reason than Fallout New Vegas, like I said, was developed by Obsidian as opposed to Bethesda themselves. And uh, I would argue that it's the uh, perfect blend of the two games in terms of... Uh, it's got a lot of the atmosphere of Fallout uh, 3. And it's got some of the crafting elements of Fallout 4, but it doesn't go 100% completely overboard to the point of annoyance. Um, I would say that if you play it, uh, I, I would try to get it on PC because that's probably where it's going to be most stable. Uh, you'll probably be able to run various mods. There's a whole slew of them that will make the game actually run uh, much better and you probably won't have as many crashes. Um, I would recommend the DLC too because um, there are plenty of... Oh god, robots. Um, I thought for a second there was something completely different. But uh, the DLC is definitely worth it. It's got... Um, let me see here now. Uh, let's go with our Sonic Emitter, which is basically... Our Sonic Emitter is basically um, a copy of our Pulse Gun, except it's different, that we got for helping Veronica. Apparently, these guys are really tough. And I am getting my ass kicked. Ugh. Have time for this. I gotta get to that med dock. Oh. No. Not very. But yeah, so this is the uh, botanical garden area. I don't actually think I went uh, to the. I, I've ne I don't think I've ever been to the X. The X22 botanical garden. I think I just skipped it. Even when, like, hunting for the sink personalities and. Oh, you robo scorpions! It is kind of funny how I think the pulse gun, which you get for doing the base game stuff, is actually a better robot uh, fighting weapon than the, the, uh, the sonic emitter that you get for completing a quest here. I mean, it's just something I noticed, anyways. Yeah, Fallout 4 in VR, uh, yeah, I've heard of that as well. Um, I definitely, uh, am very intrigued by the idea of Fallout VR. I definitely think that it's something that can be very interesting. So, yeah. Um... only I have like a thousand caps so that's probably not gonna be enough to repair my armor even Ugh. which is just dandy because I'm reaching the point where if it breaks on me I don't necessarily have like the greatest strength oh the spore plants ah crap sorry for this sudden pause let me hey let me just get this weapon here okay Patient Zero? Oh boy. Oh. Oh. That might not work then. Uh, something tells me he is a special type of enemy. Mm -hmm. Hold still, please. Hold still, please. And, well, I don't blow myself up. Aha! I can't believe that worked. I thought for sure I was gonna die. Yeah, Skyrim in VR definitely sounds interesting too. Um, embarrassing confession time if you even care, but I have never, I have not actually beaten Skyrim 100% ever. I played a lot of it. And I got a decent part into, or decent ways into the game, but I never like actually like sat down and I f and finished the game. So 
that is one game that is like I technically have it or I mean I I've had the game in the past I've come close to finishing it or actually no I, I should I don't even know if I should say I came close to finishing it so much as I had uh, made attempts to uh, get close to finishing it and uh, I just didn't so yeah all right I think I already found the jukebox, so now it's just the light switch, and I gotta clear out the spore plant in order to be able to fast travel. Uh, if you're refer, are you referring to the manager? Uh, that that uh, particular Nick, because if that's the case, uh, he uh. He's no longer at our mire. If you're referring to a different one entirely, I am not aware. Um, so, I mean, I don't think he worked. I last I checked, the Nick that you're thinking of, I saw him work uh, get transfer and work in Sheboygan for talking about the same. I don't know. No, I don't know. Then I don't know where he went. I'm sorry to hear that though. As well as just the general awkwardness of the conversation, but still sorry to hear it regardless. Uh, you know, at some point, Mobius, you're gonna run out of scorpions. At least I'd hope. Okay. Uh, you me. Ah, crap. So I will have to do some walking. Uh, that's the problem. You can't just fast travel to get to most of these locations. Well, obviously, but I mean, at the same time, it's like some of them you have to trek quite a ways, and it does get a bit irritating. Am I headed in the right? Yeah, I am. Seriously, though, what the hell are these crystals? How did they make them? And if they did not make them, tank just using them for other things, because I would think that this is more valuable than anything they're doing science-wise, these giant rubies that are just here. Three mountains. I, Dr. Mobius, will soon control you and all of science. Science. The Forbidden Zone Dome Entrance. I mean, yeah, we... Uh, I don't think that we can go in there and actually take Mobius on. I think it's just there. But hey, means that I won't have to discover it later. Can't open these crates? Oh, uh, what's the level cap in this game? Um, each DLC actually raised the level cap by 5. It's initially 30. So, um, all of the, with all the DLCs put together, it is 50. Because there's four main experiments. Uh, I just wanted to find another personality for my light switches. Uh, yeah, and, th and they did actually create brand new perks, too, for the DLC. Uh, or for the, um... Uh, for the campaign. Um... The problem is, is, like, around, like, level 45, you get most of your skills kind of maxed out, so you're just picking perks then, and, like, some of the perks, like, they did create new ones, but they're also not necessarily, like, the most interesting either. Some of them are, like, DLC-specific, and some of them are just, like, not necessarily overpowered, but... Eh. And at this point in the game, I also don't necessarily know what the hell I want to put... A lot of XP into because I've got most of the stuff that I actually want in terms of like puzzle solving 
or uh, checks, as it were. Uh, I guess energy weapons, since that's what I'm using a lot of. Medicine, just to get that pumped up a little bit closer. Oh. Okay. I could have swore you could open some of these crates. This DLC is actually really good, though, if you actually, like, are invested in crafting, because this is where you'll find, like, a lot of... If you actually take the time to find the sync personalities, uh, they will give you a lot of stuff. Uh, you can... But, uh, like, useful stuff, if you craft... Uh, if you give them junk. There's that sign again. He's going to be important for the very last DLC that I'm going to tackle. So yeah, this is a derailed train. This is clearly how the uh, scientists got whatever or the people that they used for their experiments to the mountain. And I am just simply trying to find... I think it's in the tunnel. I could be wrong. Is the, the, the sink upgrade that I'm looking for? X42. AKA the home of Mobius. I think it's up here. Is it? Is it up here? No? If you are standing on the green pipes, please get off them at once. Okay, Dala. But, uh, yeah. Otherwise, in terms of games, I've been playing a lot of, uh, Bio Mutants, which has been, hate to say it, but kind of boring. Uh, I'm only kind of sticking with it because I've kind of sort of gotten invested in it now. Oh, I see. I, I walk that way. Um. And, uh. Yeah, what would a Fallout thing would be without a subway? And they reuse, uh, they reuse the Fallout, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel theme for this particular area. I think I'll have to go through that turret. I don't think there's a computer to hack it. Da! Ah! The good news is the turrets are piss weak at this point. Especially when it's an overclocked turret. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I can actually disable that force field too. Thanks to the gun that I have. Or one of the guns I have. From these think tank people. Poor guy. Probably wanted nothing more than to escape this place. Knowing... Although I should have known full well that... It wouldn't have been easy to get away from the think tank. Let me guess, there's probably some sort of savage creatures down here, because it's like uncharted territory. I do kind of have to wonder and scratch my head as to why they have a laser uh, grid or a force field for there, but whatever. Wow. All this effort for... Eh, okay, some ammo. Ammo and sink stuff, which is kind of nice. Eh, it's a little bit of a decent haul. Need that. Do, do, do. I am thinking about uh, playing Fallout 4... Ooh, nice, a new, another LER in case I didn't get it earlier. That will uh, help me um, repair my current one up to some decent condition. Although, what I really want is the holotape. I could have swore there would be a holotape here. 
Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've definitely got some interest in playing Resident Evil Village at some point. Ooh, that LER was actually almost uh, full, uh, full condition. That's good. Um, in fact, I'll equip that. Um, but my big thing, uh, is with, um, I won't say that my big thing with Resident Evil, because I do enjoy the games, I enjoy the lore and the story, I just haven't played as many of them as I probably could or should have at this point. Um, no, at this point, I just have a couple of, so did I walk right past it? It's gotta be right here then, in this closet, and I walked right past it. Um, if I can stop distracting myself. Where, oh where is my thing gone? Where's my data disk? Um, but yeah, I am definitely considering, I'll get back on track here, playing, uh, Fallout, um, Fallout 4 next on stream uh, after Fallout New Vegas for my Mondays but because I haven't beaten the game with a uh, a female chosen one or a female uh, whatever I, I, I forgot Soul Survivor um, momentarily that's weird there's supposed to be one of the personality upgrades for the sink in here. More chems that I will not use. Um. What the hell? Don't tell me it glitched. Bear with me here. I'm going to go into first person mode and see. Ugh. Decapitated head. This is weird. I could have swore it was in here. What the hell? My map. My map marker says it's here. Yeah, so it's right by the entrance, but. I'm right on top of it, aren't I, then? Is it buried behind the Nuka-Cola machine and I just can't see it? Because I can't pick up the Nuka-Cola machine, even the... Oh, God, it's right here. That's sneaky, game. That's sneaky. I would not... I could not see that. I am not taking no blame for that one. Because I could not see that. But yeah, we're going to find the rest of the sync personalities here. One of them is actually for a, a little, a cute little mini Securitron. I wish I was kidding. Who breaks down, uh, like, dishware for you. His name's Muggy. He's cute. He's funny. I mean, actually, that's probably one of the great things about the uh, sync personalities is that they are, uh, all... Surrender yourself. You cannot they are, uh, all hilarious. Yikes. Uh, that's awesome. Um, and they do come with, like, secondary personality upgrades that you can get, too. And, of course, on stream, I've also been playing Ghost of Tsushima. I've been having a lot of fun with that, and so that Thursday stream. I'm also going to be getting a copy of Among Us after a long time. A physical copy of Among Us. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting excuse me, that, and I'm looking forward to playing it and hopefully maybe getting some uh, people to join me on stream uh, at some point. So this is a loading station. Because this was a pre-war military facility. I don't think there's anything really here, though. I think this is just for the sake of... Completeness! Ah! 
Oh yeah, the LEAR is very good. A very good weapon. Very powerful. Blaster Master. Eh, get it? Oh, there are, there are some things in the trucks there, perhaps. Ah. Stop running. Damn you. There. Huh. But yeah, I am especially looking forward to uh, playing Among Us, especially with hopefully some viewers on stream. Because, uh, well, I just think it'll be fun. Plus, I get to finally check the hullabaloo out like a full two years after it stopped being a popular trend. Because I am nothing if not uh, current when it comes to riding gaming trends. Kinda. No, I'm, I'm joking, of course. I usually am not. If anything, I'm woefully behind, usually. That's kind of the silly thing about it. Okay, where? Up there? I don't think that you have what I need, but... Whoa. Is that a giant robo-scorpion buried in the dirt? Ugh. Damn it. Damn. Gotcha. Okay. So where... Where's the other guy shooting from? Over there? Okay. Ah! Okay. I need to heal. Gotcha. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Nice. Damn, this gun is good when it's powered up. Oh. Hey, look. Check it out. Very weird, awkward, berserk Securitrons that we now have to fight. It really is weird, though, because it's like, the, they are quite literally these bizarre, berserk, uh, Securitrons, and... Including matter does not give you license to excrete on it. Um, but yeah, these are, uh, robots that we have, uh, these are broken down Securitrons that, um, are, like, they are Mr. House's Securitrons in the sense that, um, Mr., uh, or I should say that, uh, the Think Tank took these Securitrons and has decided that because they were jealous of Robert House, they made their own. And also decided to, uh, you know, well, I mean, I pretty much kind of stated what their, their goal is. I mean, they're insane for one, the think tank, and for two, yeah, they decided to make their own Securitrons because why not? I don't know what the hell that is, though. Looks almost like a... Oh. Well, it's broken, but it's not, for some reason, useless. I'll take it. <sighs> Let's see here now. Do I have anything that... I hope I don't get... Because you can get addicted to super stem packs, so I hope I don't get addicted the first time I attempt to use one of these things. Okay. Waste disintegration. Oh yes, I totally want to be here. Ugh. Yuck. 
Oh, I did lose my uh, bonus, it looks like. Oh. Securetron Mark 1. Okay, so that's that. So nothing really of vital importance was up here. Take the stuff, obviously, but... I could have avoided coming through this way, except to go and to the Securitron disassembly plant, which is where we're going next. <laughs> All right. I just prefer to do things in this game in the daylight because I think that that can very much, that's ver much more beneficial. I think I actually took care of some of the se crazed Securitrons too. Great thing about the pipes being that big as you can walk on them, not so great that they are booby trapped in mines. Now, this is where I actually took care of a good bulk of the Securitrons, but, uh, yeah. Seeing Project Muggy. That's what we came to get. A Securitron project. However, unfortunately, we do actually have to go in in order to get the... to get something else. Because there is... Uh, a little bit more that we can get. We'll have to fight a bunch of rogue Securitrons to get it, but there's, uh... There's a couple of... X-13 and X-2 are your destination, non-lobotomite. Can you hear us? You must hurry. And you need to shut the hell up. Because I will do what I damn well please. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I think I'll stick with the LER. But yeah. There is a reason to check this because I do believe that there's uh, another module that you can apply to the Secure Trend. I'm actually kind of sad, though, that the Securitron disassembly plant doesn't have, like, any lore. Like, the terminals don't work. That'd be kind of cool. Ah, yes. First aid kit. Nice. Use that. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh... There is, uh, one Securitron that's actually gonna be a bit tough. Called, uh... Well... His name's in binary, so... Does, his, does it really even matter what his name is? It doesn't matter what your name is! But yeah, these are damaged... A combination of damaged and obsolete Securitrons. And it's kind of cre creepy, their faces, eh? Like, it's amazing how creepy their faces kind of look when you know... That they are like these, just these machines, and you've like seen them work. The working face machines, versions of them, kind of thing. Still, didn't do too much damage to me. And in, I guess you could probably f guess then that this is what it would be like to fight the Securitrons if you went against Mr. House. Because I think for this playthrough, when I get back to the main campaign and the main game, I am gonna side with Mr. House. I have done all of the endings. I have sided with all the factions in various playthroughs. So, there's that. Scrap bits, scrap bits. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Do I actually need the... Is there anything even actually in here? No, just, uh... Securitrons. Mark 1 and Mark 2. So how the hell did the, uh... Think Tank corrupt or... Manage to get their hands on Mark 4s? Or, like, software upgrade Mark 4s? Hmm. Never really explained, unfortunately. I think I entered from the correct area of the plant. I think I should be able to get what I need going this way. I'd have to exit and come back in the other way, though. Or I could just take the stairs. Ugh. Yeah, this is the way I need to go. When in doubt, red pips will settle it out. Control area over here, maybe. You gotta remember that those computers don't actually work, so there's that. What does this one say? Radios and televisions, radiothon, or radio, or radiation king. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, poor guy. He's no longer with us, so... Okay. And... Damn, this L.E.R. is actually very... I think that is our, uh, my friend, the, uh, Super Berser uh, Berserk Securitron, who happens to have binary instead of a name. Yep. Yep. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh. Yeah, boy. Okay. Pulse mines that I'm never, ever going to use otherwise. And go. Come on. Come and get it. Uh. Hey, come on. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you a lot anyways. <laughs> okay. Really? Come on! Fred! Oh my god, I, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Uh, okay. Super stim pack, don't fail me now. Please don't kill me. Or dick me. Jeez. I want to know which one of, those, one of these knuckleheads gave you all of your weapons so I could punch them. Ugh. That sucked. Ugh. Okay. Yep, so you actually have to fight that thing. Because he has, uh... The upgrade for Muggy's parts, which can help you drastically. <clears throat> Sorry, just checking the holotapes. I think I might actually have to go back to the sink though after this and uh 
not necessarily heal, but uh, offload some inventory and try to get some caps and just something, because don't think I am going to be able to uh, I don't think that I'm going to be able to, uh... Big Mountain, I, Dr. Mobius, will get soon control all of the... you and all of science! Maybe I'll be able to get this over here without dying. I don't know how the lobotomites are going to be over here. Well, let's see. I love how basically anything that I kill is still here. Yeah, so now I'm basically collecting not only the sync personalities, but I'm collecting their upgrades. Um, I kind of want to collect the upgrades too while I'm out and about because while it doesn't add a lot to their uh, personas per se, um, it is kind of like, you know, cool to like have everything there. Plus, you get a challenge that's completed for that, which gives you a nice XP dump. So, might as well finish it. I mean, I'm technically almost here anyway, so... And by that, I mean almost finished with the thing, so... Oh yeah, and then there's almost all of Big Mountain. Um, okay, where? Oh, over here? Okay. Uh, iron sight aiming. Not necessarily my friend in this particular game. No matter how hard I try. Oh. So your friends decided to show up a little late to the party. Uh, oh, what the... How did you get here? You suck. Mm. Come on. Uh. Really? Come on. Ooh, I have no health. Uh, yeah, let's uh, double super stim. Oh, come on! Another camp? They're not even another camp of lobotomites, just lobotomites in general. Ugh. So annoying. It's kind of cool, though, that you can, like, you know, see how they reload. Okay, so now... Uh, hey, there. I was going to say, uh, game, let me... You know, let me back in. Okay, so... It's in the grave, I take it? No? Maybe? Rebound, I'll take that. Actually, what do I need a 357 mag for? I don't. Is it in here? No, but I'll take the combat armor. Might need to switch it out. At this point. Yeah, I need to switch out. And then... What then do I want to do? Or how do I want to address... Last little bit of weight that I need to take care of. I 
totally forgot how you use, uh... How you use the bleak venom. Uh... Do I have anything that I can drop from my weapons? Cash? No. Nothing that I... Okay. Ugh. Okay, nothing. Okay. Oh, what the... Oh, that is such crap. Where the hell did you all come from? Well, the good news is, is that by taking care of them, I should be able to, uh, damn it. The good news is by taking care of them, I should be able to leave afterwards. I'm trying to find, it's got to be in one of these graves. Cause... No, it's not in that. Oh, oh crap. The trauma harnesses. As if these lobotomites weren't bad enough. The trauma harnesses suck too. Why aren't you fighting the trauma harness, actually? That would be nice. Why? Yeah, okay. Oh, you suck! Piece of shit game. Actually, it's not a piece of shit game. I just... Uh, I wasn't paying attention or I wasn't doing what I should have. Son of a bitch. I didn't... I couldn't find what I was looking for. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't need this. Go away. I'm just lucky I have some anti-venom or else I, I'd be really screwed. I don't even think he poisoned me, which is nice. I got away with one. Uh, right? Super stim pack. Sickness. Okay. My damnedest to get just get what I'm lower than like out because it's ridiculous how many of them MFers were showing up. Then I might just have to go back to the sink regardless because. In terms of supplies and stuff, I am getting my butt kicked. There's only so much I could handle. I mean, then again, the, these guys kind of spawned in. Oh, by the way, get this. One who flew over the cuckoo's nest, anyone? See? One who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Eh? It's kind of cute when you think about it. It's another... Wildy wastelandy reference. And you do actually have to enter. If they follow me, so be it, but I'd much rather follow me and oh oh boy. 
<sighs> Bottomite. Rawr! Uh, oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Uh. Haha! -ha. Die! Really? Hit him! You are point blank! You are shooting him at point blank range. How can you not hit him? Ugh. That's embarrassing. Like, I'm right in front of the guy. Why can't I hit him? Oh crap. I might very much be dead. Ugh. This sucks. Come on. Come on. Heal. God, I hate these guys sometimes. Jeez. It's not even like these guys are like Dark Souls level, like, tough. If anything, they're just kind of annoying. Combat music's still going, so there's another one? Somewhere? Or has it just not stopped? Actually, I think the real problem was is that there were a lot of dudes with shotguns. That definitely did not help in my favor. Ah! Test subject number one. That's it. No? God damn it. Okay. Come on. Uh, come on. Now I'm getting mad because I can't seem to aim worth anything outside of VATS. In the gym! That did not... That should not have been that hard. I have no idea why that took as much as it did. Ugh. Inverse. That's a unique version. Unique version of the, the weapon there. <clears throat> there you are. You don't have what I'm looking for. I'm hopeful I can just walk out. Yeah, the cuckoo's nest. That's the cuckoo's nest, all right. All of the... Ugh. Ugh. Yikes. But, um... Hmm. Okay. Hopefully I can just warp back to the sink after this to heal and everything, because otherwise I am screwed if there's a group of lobotomites waiting for me outside like I think there might be. Okay, come on. I have to pull up the... Okay, it's over here. I hate having to do that, like pull up the local map because... Excuse me, it's not right in front of your face, so you kind of have to look. A little bit. 
toasters. Hmm. Project toaster. Okay, install the sync modules in the per in the in the thing. Okay, we got all the personalities. I think they've got some upgrades that we don't have yet, but we can get. And that's kind of where it's going to be, but we did manage to get all the sync stuff, so there's that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'd just like to thank, uh, once again, uh, the Midwest, or Midwest Mark, uh, mid, the Midwest Marks podcast for following me, because that actually is going to get me one step closer to affiliation, I would think, so yeah. Okay. All right. So, there's the auto doc. I'm gonna want him to heal me first. You require some addition. Uh, yeah. And rightly so. Uh, basic physical exam. In other words, repair me, heal me. Huh. Oh, no. oh, that's scalpel. Fish scalpel. Matt, nice. All right, so let's let's install biological research station first. Ooh, oh yeah, baby, feels good to be online again. Yeah, all circuits online, ready to receive your seed. Beg your pardon. It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples, and I'll work my mojo on them. Clone you up all kinds of plants. Oh, yeah. I can also break them down. <laughs> if you're into the kinky stuff, bring me any old plant parts, and I'll grind them up into salient green for you. Yeah. You like that, don't you, baby? Salent green? Salent green? Oh no, salent green is people! Just the miracle of life in sticky, gooey, liquid form, baby. Heat that gunk up over a campfire and just watch it congeal into all kinds of plants. Ugh. So if I bring them down, uh, some dried plants, you can clone them and grow them in these you planters? You know it, baby. I just need some samples and I got you going. Take a few days, but trust me, it's all kinds of good. <laughs> good. Hurry back with that. Uh, yikes. No, I don't want to. All right, so, uh, got the book shoot. I got the jukebox earlier. Let's see here now. Light switch. Muggy. Let's install Muggy. Meet Muggy, my friend. You. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any mugs? A tiny Securitron. You. You really want to know about. <laughs> no one ever asks about Muggy! You made me so happy! Maybe Aww. you've seen some of those big, imposing Securitrons with their lovely laser guns and rocket launchers and scary faces? I'm not one of those. 
Doctor O was always jealous of house industries, and he thought it would be fucking hilarious to build a tiny neurotic Securitron. Big fucking laugh! So, um, you got any coffee cups for me now? Mugs, why do you want mugs? Uh, I love some of the sync personalities. They're absolutely hilarious. Why do you want mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh, God, give me the coffee cup, please. It's sitting there in your pack taunting me. Sorry. Um, sorry. I got a little carried away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them. It breaks my heart! You seemed... What do you do with the mugs? I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. You seem... Can you do anything, anything else? Anything else, he asks. Like, I don't long for the chance to be more than an erotic busboy. If you must know, at one point, Dr. Mobius programmed me to manufacture electronic components in my central chassis. That module got corroded when the toaster spilled hot crumbs down my fence, though. If you find a backup somewhere, I could maybe do that for you. Well, I did, so yeah. Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. They programmed me to know that too. Aww. They made me just to torture me. But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jars. Do you know how many coffee cups giant robot brains in jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! <laughs> oh, muggy. Is the new subject mugs? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any. Of course you don't. Why would you? You're not an insane robot obsessed with coffee cups. To you, they're just worthless junk. Gotta sure. go. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with muggy. I get it. So long, pal. And he'll do, uh, he'll, he'll do, like, uh, his own, like, song and dance. Like, he'll do some interactions with them. Yep, upgrade, oh, parts production. Oh, Yay! Please, please, tell me. Do you have any electronic components? Yep, here you go. Yay! Sure. So, yeah, he'll talk to, uh, the, the sync personalities will talk to various... Uh, or look, various people, various things. Let's activate the toaster. Prepare for the toaster of doom. <laughs> I am online once again. Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom. <laughs> Tremble. You're a toaster. How fearsome can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world. <laughs> well, I for one am quaking in my boots. Why all the have rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? <clears throat> or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. <laughs> well, I, for one, am quaking in my boots. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! Well, I change the since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Huh? <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask what your function is. You should is. be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. That's why uh, the cuckoo's nest is there, to give you a lot of toasters. So you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! 
I got some toasters for you. Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, yes. The sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! <laughs> yes! Yes! Soon my work will be complete. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire. And you can superheat uh, the Saturnite fist, by the way, too, uh, as a weapon. Soon I will. What? It, it did? Yeah, a couple of centuries ago, in fact. Really? Well, fuck. That really puts a damper <laughs> on the toaster's mood. Oh, well. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh, right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! <laughs> you want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics! You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! You mean like this one? Oh, baby. That is a thing of fucking beauty. Give it here. I'll soup it up for you. There you go. And give Have you fire damage. That. Burn the fucking world for me! Well, that super like I power said, fist. Bring me a Saturnite. Keep an eye out for any Saturn You find one, thing. you bring it on back here, and we'll burn this mother down! Yes! Flee before my terrible power! And now we're going to... And now it's the light switches. The only thing left to do. Oh my! Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. <laughs> Lady Killer, it's not often I meet a light switch with brains and beauty. I think you're going to like it here. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. Maybe one of these nights we can discuss theorems. I'd enjoy that. Me too. Hope you can keep up. I work pretty fast. Here, something for you to brush up on. Programmer's Digest, Dr. yay! Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. What were the results? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. Uh-huh. Can you turn on those lights for me? As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Damn it. Certainly. Uh, okay, I'm trying to remember now here. I think there's one more that there's one more personality I have to equip other than the light switch. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one it is, though. Because it should be here somewhere. Where was it? Where was it? Okay, second light switch. That's one. I'm trying to remember though. Eh, maybe it'll show up in a second after we activate it. Mm, that was a nice little uh, cat nap. How long was I out? Lady Killer, a light switch that turns me on? I must be dreaming. <laughs> oh, you. I bet you say that to all the light switches. Only the sexy ones. Now I know you're flirting with me. And it's working. 
Why don't you take this to remember me by? What are you? Some kind of novelty talking switch? I was Dr. Switch? Mobius's personal assistant. We were studying, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, lightning. No, no, wait, uh, lighting. That's right, how lighting affects human interaction. And what did you find oh, out? it was super exciting. It turns out that some pretty colored lights can make you way better at talking to people. So, a charisma versus intelligence boost. Oh, I love to, sweetie, but I don't have the programming. All the data from the experiments was lost. You'd have to go Damn. out into that nasty old crater and find the backup copy. Damn. I saw the other, another light switch in that in the other room. Do you control that one, oh, too? her. Trust me, sweetie, you're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. Ooh. Sounds like you have some bad blood between you or um circus. That bitch. She thinks she's <clears> so <throat> much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Okay, then forget sure thing, I said anything. Sweetie. <sighs> okay then. How can I illuminate you? Might I be of service? Switch off the sink's personality matrices. Uh, Very I'd like good, to sir. buy some things. As might I venture to opine that a new trilby might be just the thing to complete service. New trilby. Nice. Uh, all right, let's sell some stuff here. Uh. 53 frigging mentats. Thank God there's no weight to that. He's got more than enough caps to trade with me. Else I want to get rid of. Let's see. Just in case, for whatever reason, you decide to sell the Sonic Emitter. Ah, crap. He's got no stim packs. Uh, I'm good on ammo, though, at least. Back. Do I have any flamer fuel? Because I never use those. I can't believe I've got the alien power cell, but I don't have... Uh, I don't have uh, the alien blaster. That, like, annoys the hell out of me. It really does. Uh, I think I have... I think I have everything that I can use. Yeah, the K9 Cyberdog gun. That's the one that I'm missing. I'm missing, uh... I'm missing the, uh... Oh, God damn it! I had it in my brain, and I hate when that happens. Uh... 
No. Please. Might I be of service? Like to repair. Very good, sir. Okay. that uh. see this is where the game will start to eat up a lot of stuff it'll eat up a lot of your caps if I'm being honest I almost recommend doing the Sierra Madre first then because the Sierra Madre will actually uh, give you, like, more than enough money that you can handle. Kind of thing. So. I'll keep it. Okay, I'm going to save. Itchy. Greetings, it citizen. Him? Nope. I'm trying to remember now. Wait. There's there's one more switch switch, one more sync personality that I have to turn on. Oh yeah, the sync. The sync, quite literally. I forgot about that. Walked right past them. Oh, God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll Yay. want to clean up then. You seem kind of worried about dirt. What about, uh, what's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. Um, I came to, uh, fill some empty bottles. Oh, I'd love to, darling. But the circuits that allow me to dispense water into non-organic containers burned out years ago. You'd have to find Trash. a replacement for that module. Mm. Okay. Come back any time you want to drink. Or to get... Clean. Yep. All my friends have off switches. Complete. So now we basically just have to... Well. Here we go. Influencing people. You gotta find the other... Sync upgrade pieces. Now, what I am instead going to do is I am going to instead go to the X12 research facility. And then, once we have finished X12, or and then once I get to X12, I'm going to, I think, call it a stream. Because instead, what I will do is on the stream following, I will, uh... Okay, actually, I stand corrected. We're gonna go, we'll discover X12. And then we'll walk to the edge of the map. Huh? Huh? Yeah. We'll walk to the edge of the map and, uh, get my, uh, or, and get one of the sync personality upgrades. Aha! God dang it! Get up! Crack and hack! There. Jeez. Ah. 
suck it. Yeah, I, I stand corrected. I think I'm gonna try to actually get the last, or get the sync upgrades, or at least one of them, before I call it a stream. Man, military cyber dogs, eh? Ah, trauma harness. Ugh, that's so creepy. Ugh. You were once a man. Not anymore. Ugh. That is so creepy. Apparently I knocked the gun out of his hand or something because he decided to stop shooting. Not complaining. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. Ow. Screw off. Gotcha. Stalkers. Yeah, I want to get the one at the far end of the map here. And then I'll call it a stream in terms of, like, getting, uh, getting the, uh, switch person, or the, the switch, the, um, sync personality upgrades. Get out of this radioactive quagmire, too, while we're at it. But yeah, and then after the, the next time when I stream, I can just focus on getting the remaining uh, personality upgrades, and then I'll focus on clearing out X12. Because there are a couple of other things associated that I could be do that I can do, but. I want to focus mostly on getting all the sync upgraded, uh, personalities upgraded, and then completing the uh, main quest line. Because, yeah, there's a lot to explore, but the same can be said for much of the Mojave. So, yeah. Ah! Try. You won't sneak up on me that easily. Still, Night Stalker's better than Casimir, so I will take what I can get. Oh, jeez. Not pleasant, though. Very not pleasant. Not too many lobotomites. <clears throat> X13. Oh yeah, that's right. X13 is what we needed, not X12. 
Everything is under control down here. If we need your assistance, let me know. Paris will be along shortly to retrieve the equipment. Dr. Callus. We've successfully blah 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 blah. Sonic field emitter. The gun was sent to X8 for study. Well, we have that gun, so yeah. I mean, technically speaking, I think you could have entered this area without the gun, but you obviously aren't going to get as far without having this. Your Sonic. The Sonic emitter. Teddy bear. Creepy. Gun locker. Hard. I got this. No guns that I really need to use, but I'll take it. Ah! Nice. The X8 kennel key, so I can technically go back to X8 now. I couldn't, I couldn't actually get through without, uh, that, the sonic emitter, so, it worked out. Uh. Okay. I love the, the wavy, shimmery stuff, ooh. It's all lit up. Lab. Ooh. Um. Mark II research glove. I'm working on fitting with more to fitting gloves. The torso, which should greatly improve manual dexterity. Manual These should be obvious. Yeah, so this is a stealth suit that they were working on. The uh, people of Big Mountain. So yeah, we have to find and, of course, test it. Why do we have to test it? Mm -hmm. Suit software hooked up to the torso. Blah -de -blah -de -blah. Damaged prototypes. up ahead here. A lot of chest plates. Aha! Perfect. You can use that right away. Gives me stealth. A stealth boost. The Chinese Special Armies manual. Not only can it be upgraded, it also has, <laughs> for all your paint damaging needs, medics and pen, uh, not included. Kudos, test subject, field gun prototype. I'll read these later. What I really want is to, uh... What I really want is to get the, uh, l the personality upgrade. Oh. Oh my. Uh, I was not aware of this room. Stealth test area, too. Yeah. I would say. Oof. <clears throat> but yeah. My dying breath, I write that I hate the VR simulation so much. It has killed us. Now I will kill it. 
Aha, uh -huh, good luck with that. Stealth test, test area two. Blah. I wonder if it's down here. Oh goody, a chemistry set. Yes, I need stim packs. Thank you. That actually helps a ton. Uh, let's see here now though. I just want to get the one. Oh, it's in the lab. Ugh. All right. Well, instead. I'm just gonna check and make sure Dr. Callus. Damn. Well. Oh, Night Stalker test area. Uh oh. Let's clear this out then, shall we? Clear this out and then I'll end up calling it a stream. If they're even here, I think they might have escaped. I mean, if they escaped in the wasteland, more power to the game, but... I'm just double checking. Reserve meat. Ugh. I even want to know how. Door blocked. Okay. All right. Interesting. So you can make like some sort of moonshine or something, I would assume. Interesting. All right, well, so much for that. Ah! <laughs> Cloaked Night Stalker. Should have known that. Was the case. Because the frackers eat stealth boys. Why didn't they attack me before? That's what I want to know. Ah! Well, that's the last of them then, because that's usually the screen that we get when we've cleared the area. That's the way we know we've cleared the area. Okay. I can live with that. Alright, so. I'm gonna go back up to the X13 test area. Ah! Oh, oh, crap. I am almost dead. I got really lucky. Holy cow, I got lucky. I should not have survived that. Uh, we done? Get them all? I think, I think so. I would like to hope so. Uh... Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Well, We're okay on Stimpax. Yes, I know. Alright, so, next time when I uh, stream, we will complete X13. We will get the uh, sync personalities upgraded 100%. And then, maybe, just maybe, we will confront Dr. Mobius. 
But then on third, but on Thursday I will be streaming, of course, Medics some more ghost, empty. some more Tushima. So I, I hope to watched. see you guys. Please shut up. I hope to see you guys on the next stream. Then until then, stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay sane, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Peace out.